Keep your head, trunk, and pelvis aligned in a vertical column. When turning from your central axis, feel like your hips and shoulders are moving as one unit. Initiate movement from your core, directing action into your arms and hands. Now in this move, we're practicing the Taiji fold that we learn in the basic moves. So we're turning the hips. You can actually lift one sits bone or the other. And you can also, if this is comfortable and feels like good exercise, you can actually, keeping your body upright, turn your shoulders, you know, depending on how you want to do this movement. Okay. In any case, there's no extra movement of the arms. In other words, we're not doing this. And so this is the movement that we practiced with the Taiji fold, moving the moon. Okay. So we're basically keeping the hands right at midline. The fingers are at midline and you're turning and it's the turn of your trunk that's moving your hands. So we're turning, as, as we're turned to the one side, the palms face each other. The top hand again is about uh, chest height, the lower hand is belly height. Switch the arms. As we come to center, the palms face us, chest and belly. As we turn to the other side, they face each other. And we'll repeat this pattern a few times. As the arms switch, left hand comes up in front, I should say the lower hand comes up in front, the upper hand moves out to the side. Then as we come back to center, one's right on top of the other, and turn. Okay. Do this a couple more times. As we're shifting, we're shifting more onto one sit bone, more onto the other sit bone, keeping the body upright. This is core movement, moving from our center. Now here, more weight will be on your left sit bone. Lift the right foot, put it down. Make sure to keep your body upright. This, this central column is upright, which allows for this turning. Okay. When we face the right, lift the left leg and put it down. Turn once more. Right foot, 